We are Ashley and Jordan. In May of 2019, we quit our jobs and left home to travel the world full time. Our goal is to see as much of the world as possible through delicious food, breathtaking nature, and the different people and cultures that call this planet home. Feel free to subscribe and follow along as we keep going places. Yesterday, we spent the day seeing the high points of Tallinn, and today we venture further into the city to explore everything Estonia's capital has to offer. Hey guys, good afternoon. We are back in the creative city for lunch in a container, shipping container, that is now a little Azerbaijani cafe. We have these amazing looking falafel sandwiches and a beautiful salad. We're gonna get some lunch. I think we might get some coffee afterwards and then start our day. We have a couple of things on the docket for today. One, we're gonna go check out part of, it's abandoned now, but part of what was the 1980 Olympics sort of facilities out near the water. And then we're gonna go over to the Sea Harbor Museum. Lots of boats and planes and cool maritime stuff to explore. It's going to be a great day, our last full day here in Tallinn, so let's get started. Okay, we just finished up eating our falafel euros at the Azerbaijan container booth, which was really, really good. And this whole area has a ton of containers. The one behind me is made out of old train carts. So we're gonna stop there and have some coffee before we get going today. was a great lunch and an excellent cup of coffee. We went back to the depot or the creative city area, had some Azerbaijani food, which is delicious, and then walked over to those cute train cars and sat inside and had a couple cups of coffee. Such a great atmosphere, so much fun. We highly recommend. Now we are going to walk about 20, 25 minutes over to, I forget the name of it, but it's this complex that's now abandoned that was built for the 1980 Olympics in what was then Russian-occupied Estonia. Should be cool to kind of explore and maybe take some pictures and just kind of see what's what. It's cool sculpture. So artistic. Mm -hmm. as I mentioned before, that was built specifically for the 1980 Summer Olympics. And if you were around at that time, you might be thinking, weren't those held in Moscow? They were, Moscow hosted those Summer Olympics. However, at the time, Estonia was occupied by Russia and Russia didn't have the waterfront facilities needed for a couple of the water events. So the yachting and the sailing portions were held here at this facility, which backs up to the water, we'll see in a minute. And it's essentially now abandoned and you can just sort of explore and walk around and kind of play on it and sort of see this moment in time from 1980. And that's exactly what we're gonna go do.
I, being born in 1989, aren't exactly up on our 1980 Summer Olympics history, but I did a little research which proved very interesting. For anybody older than us, you already know this, but for the 1980 Summer Olympics, only 80 countries participated because the United States and about 65 other countries all boycotted the Summer Olympics due to the Soviet-Afghan War. And then later in 1984, the Soviet Union boycotted those Summer Olympics. So I was going to look up how many medals we won, but it was probably zero. Some competitors from the boycotting countries did participate as individuals under the Olympic flag though. So that's interesting, huh? swimming in there there's gotta be what would you say thousands of jellyfish in there from like itty bitty to like pretty big just bloop bloop blooping around Ooh. all right so we are here at the lanusatum seaplane harbor yeah it is essentially a maritime museum 15 euro per person for adults if you want to do the inside and the outside. You can do six euro just for the ships outside. Basically, it's full of submarines, icebreaker ships, torpedoes, all this really cool stuff. A lot of it is very hands-on. You can climb in it, explore it. I really think kids would love it here, but if you're like us and you're a big kid, it'd be fun for you too. We're gonna go get playing. other ships throughout its history. So we're gonna just get in it, crawl through it, and see what it looks like on the inside. It's really cool. Look at these cots. How would you like to sleep on those? Surely you bump your head every day. Okay. 
that was really fun. There's two small replicas of the boats that are outside which we're about to go explore. But you can ride them here and like play around. It's a lot of fun. I never really learned how to make a paper airplane, so I'm trying. There's so many fun interactive things here, including making a paper airplane. They have instructions on two different types. I've got kind of a, a jet plane. We're gonna see how I do. Decade and a half learning to make these in elementary school, junior high, and high school. The nose is dead on it. It won't work anymore. We're outside now for the outdoor portion where they have some awesome ships sort of parked out here, some in the water and then some on ground. Really cool, you can walk on several of them. Also, fun little fact, there's an excellent kids playground here that you don't have to pay to get into, so if you're here with kids and they need a break, it looks really fun. <laughs> for a time and then was later used as what they called a buoy tender. I'm not really sure what that means. Maybe they tend to buoys. But anyway, it's really cool. There's a good amount that you can explore. And I think it's our last stop for the day because I am tired and hungry. So maybe we'll wrap it up here. We're really glad that y'all came with us for our second full day in Estonia. We had such a good time. We highly recommend a visit. But for now, we'll say we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.